Hey guys, we're down here on Lake Okeechobee, Clewiston, Florida, here at Roland Martins Marina. Me and my wife is going to go out today and do some fishing. We're going to go out scouting, looking for more fish for my guide trips coming up, and uh, going to just go out and have some fun. So follow along and uh, let's see what we can catch today. one in the morning. Yeah. Sweet. Talking flipping guys right there. Also on a down. Pretty Okeechobee bass. He's tight to the cover. All right, let's let him go. Okay. Ha! 
Oh, hey, there's another that's one. That's a big one. Cool. Boy, that's, that's a lot lighter bite on that one, guys. Good fish right there. All right. Get that fish out of there. She was buried down a little bit further. And I uh, had a hook down there. I want to be careful and get, get her out of there. Another pretty fish, guys. Another good fish. Alright guys, let's caught this really good one right here. I've been uh, fishing this Asinko all morning and uh, caught, caught some fish, but I switched over to a beaver style bait just now and uh, missed a good one right over on that little point on point of those reeds. Uh, just flipped over just now and caught this good four and a half pounder. Look like she's been spawning, so uh, we're going to get her back in the water and let her go. Alright guys, we're going to let this beautiful bass go. get back on and see if I can catch a couple more I'm gonna be heading in here a little bit we've only been high for a couple hours but uh, I've got some friends coming in from Arkansas and uh, looking forward to seeing them I ain't seen them since last year but guys make sure if you're interested in fishing down here get a hold of me at scottpattonfishing.com my number is 731-227-9499 feel free to uh, text me call me uh, I got here in Clusen, Florida, out of Roller Martins Marina, and uh, like I said, I'll be down here to the end of March. A lot of it, I got a lot of days still open, and uh, it's going to be nice and warm here. So come on down here and see us, and uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I appreciate that, and we'll get more videos out to you. today out here I want to kind of show you the two rigs I've been throwing today and I throw a lot down here on Okeechobee uh, I've got a bobber stopper already on here that you got to have and a stick cover and with a beaver saw bait I'm just using a 3 8 ounce pro tungsten just gonna slide that on there and then I got about a 4 aught this might be a 4 I, it, it might be a 5 aught straight shank hook and I'm gonna tie a snail knot okay so there's a lot of good videos out there that you can learn to tie a snail knot but I'm gonna tie a snail knot right here I'm gonna stick it through uh, this front of the, line, uh, the eye of the hook just gonna make a, a wrap and I'm just gonna hold that right there and I'm gonna pinch it and we'll just wrap this one two three four five six 
and seven. All right, then I'm gonna take that loop that I created on that wrap, take the end of that tagline, take it through the loop. I'll keep my finger right there, keep everything good and tight. Pull it up, snug it. Pull it good and tight. Make sure nothing slips on it once I do start fishing. So let's miss no knot, okay? I've got 50 pound test cigar braid on both of these flipping sticks. I got two different uh, flipping sticks, power rods, loose, high speed seven to five, I believe it is. This is a seven six power flipping rod. Love these rods. I love cork handles. I don't know, but to me, they're just the best thing ever made. But anyway, so I got that snail knot on there. And when you set the hook, what it does is that hook will just kick up, okay? So you get a lot better hook set on these fish, especially in this super thick cover. You gotta think about, you know, especially when we're throwing a one ounce or even a two ounce sinker, when that fish bites down on, onto that sinker and that worm, uh, and you go to set the hook as hard as we jerk these things, that sinker, especially a one or two ounce, it's gonna pop that fish's mouth open. So if you don't have a knot where it's gonna make, when that, hit, that pressure hits the lips of the fish, if it don't, uh, the knot doesn't make that hook kick up, what's gonna happen is your knot's gonna just slide, that fish is gonna kick his mouth open and it's gonna slide right through there. That's why you can lose all your fish. And that's why the snow knot is so important because when you set the hook and it, the sinker hits the, the fish's uh, lips from the pressure that you have on when you set the hook, boom, that kicks up. So it's gonna get him a roof of the mouth. So if you guys ain't fishing the snow knot, especially on braid line, I even use it on Chigamago and other places on uh, floor garbage. You know, usually I'm using 25 pound tests, but the snow knot's very important down here in Okeechobee or anywhere in Florida, really. Using two different baits. I was throwing a, a couple different beaver baits today. You know, just something more compact. Um, I ended up catching the good one today on this uh, Green pumpkin and black and blue flake, and that's a good bait. And then just your uh, black with the blue, uh, blue flake in, in it. Black and blue with the blue flake in it's good. And I'm just gonna rig that up Texas style. And just stick that in there about a quarter of an inch. Take it through. When I'm down here in Florida, especially, most of the time when I'm flipping braid, I will always just bury that point of that hook into the worm, into the plastic. Okay because you're gonna have enough power when you're setting the hook that it's gonna, it's gonna drive it through. And I can fish this thing in a lot thicker cover by sticking that hook in the middle of the plastic instead of sticking all the way through and skin hooking and all that kind of stuff. The covers is too thick here. Unless you're fishing more sparse stuff, then maybe you can. But when you're flipping real heavy stuff, um, that's the way you wanna rig it, okay? So we're throwing the beaver bait and then another bait I call a bunch of fish on. It's always good down here. It's more of a magnum size Cinco um, style bait. This is, this is a, I forget what brand it is. But anyways, it's just a black and blue. Use black and blue with a blue tip on it. Um, it's a good bait. Here's one laying right here on the bottom of the boat. <clears throat> you can see the blue tip on that one. Both of these are good. June bug's good, watermelon red's good. But you can never go wrong um, flipping just a black, straight black and blue down here on Okeechobee, almost anywhere in the country. So this is two baits we were using today. Um, you know, we caught, caught a few fish, only been here a couple hours. I'm gonna head in, go get some lunch, and get uh, gas in the boat, get ready for tomorrow. You guys, I appreciate it if you'll subscribe, hit that like button, and follow us along, okay? Uh, we're gonna be down here at Okeechobee all winter long, and I'll uh, be here to the end of March. Um, if you're interested in a guide trip, uh, look me up at scottpattonfishing.com or my number is 731-227-9499, which of course we're gonna have here on the video. And I got down here out of Clewiston, Florida, uh, out of Roland Martins Marina, okay? Great place to come and fish and stay, great food, everything down here, just fun down here. So uh, look us up and come on down here and fish with us. Thanks guys.